Israel, the land of milk and honey, of high tech and innovation, of religion and beautiful beaches. And then there is this reality too. Facing cross-border terror tunnel, today we are in Israel's north, close to the Lebanon border, just a few meters away. And I'm going to show you something no one else in Israel will. The inside of a cross-border terror tunnel dug by Hezbollah in Lebanon into Israel. Over the last few years, Hezbollah, with the backing of Iran, has dug many tunnels like this into Israel in an attempt to kidnap Israelis and carry out attacks. Fortunately, the tunnels have been found before any attacks so far. But it is an ongoing battle. And these tunnels are not a low-budget project. We are talking of millions and millions of dollars. Some of the tunnels measure up to a kilometer length and are about 80 meters deep into the ground. They are equipped with electricity, ventilation, and even communication technology. The tunnels are the product of a special forces unit of Hezbollah called Radwan, whose job it is to cross into Israel, kidnap Israelis, and cause chaos. Hezbollah is also responsible for dozens of terror attacks around the world, which killed many civilians. And in Israel, their attacks took the lives of Arab and Jews alike in the lead up to the Second Lebanon War, when Hezbollah kidnapped and killed these soldiers right here. The same group is responsible for the bombing of the US Marine Barracks in Lebanon in 1983 killing American and French soldiers. While Israel is a wonderful place, the threats it faces are very real, even the ones under the surface.